Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a very special video for you displaying and giving a brief overview of the brand new theme or user interface in Nagios XI, which will be available in the newest update. We're gonna briefly walk through a couple different configuration wizards. We will look at the brand new user interface. Like I said, this is a pretty special video and I'm very excited, so let's just jump right in. Now, if you're on the old user interface and you want to try out Neptune and get a feel for it, you can come up to admin. On the left hand side here, you can do system settings, theme and display. And again, our user interface theme can get dropped down here. Select Neptune and click update. And here's our new user interface called Neptune. As you can see, it is a total overhaul of what the old UI was. All the buttons that were at the top have been converted into icons on the left hand side here with their respective subcategories. This update not only comes with UI changes, but also comes with some new configuration wizards. For example, we now have an open AI configuration wizard right here. In this video, I'm going to walk through monitoring a website. I'll also be covering a couple enterprise features. And then finally, we'll have a brief look into creating dashboards. So let's just get started with looking into monitoring a website. So on the left hand side, I have selected this gear icon and I clicked configuration wizards. And in here using the search bar, we will type in website. We will click on the website configuration wizard. And for the sake of this example, we are going to monitor nagios.com. As you'll notice, there is a step by step tutorial here going on that explains everything that we're walking through. Host name we will leave as dongios.com and here's the IP address of the target that we want to hit. And here we can select what we want to monitor of the website. So for the sake of this example, we will just monitor uh, HTTP ping. We won't monitor DNS IP match and DNS resolution. And then we'll also monitor our certification on the website. Once we're satisfied with these settings, we can click Next. And here we can set our check interval. This top number is how often Nagios XI is going to reach out to Nagios.com to collect data. Right now it is set to every five minutes, so every five minutes XI is going to reach out. If XI is unable to reach Nagios.com, it'll go into this check interval here at the bottom. Right now it is set to one in five. This means that if XI is unable to reach Nagios.com, it'll retry one minute up to five times before sending a notification. Now, if you're monitoring a critical asset, you'll want to knock this five here down to all two. We recommend not doing a one because there is a higher chance to getting alerted to a false positive. So for the sake of this example, we will go ahead and drop this here to a three. And then our check interval will be one and two. Now, if we had users in this XI system, we could click next to select who would get notified for this specific host. But since this is pretty much a brand new instance, we're going to just finish with defaults here. And as you can see, we are now monitoring agios.com. So navigating back to the home page here, I want to quickly point out that the new home page on Neptune, on this left hand navigation panel, we have a button called Enterprise. This button contains all of the enterprise features that are available with Nagios XI if this is a package you decide to go with. Now we have a video series covering all the features within the enterprise bundle. And we'll have a link to this, that series in the description below. But in this video, I'll quickly cover capacity planning. Capacity planning is by far one of the nicest things that Nagios XI has in it. Here is the capacity planning screen. Now it's a wonderful feature that can give you data-driven predictions on how a system is going to behave in the future. I've had a random CentOS 8 machine being monitored with XI in here. And as you can see, there is some data points within these graphs. This is the behavior of the machine going back a couple of days and XI is predicting how the machine is going to behave in the future. If we had multiple hosts in here, we could use some extra filtering to be able to dial into exactly what we want to look at as far as hosts are concerned. 
So again, we'll look at my random CentOS 8 machine. We'll look at all the services and we will click run. And now this is going to pull up everything on the CentOS 8 machine. So here is some data points here. Again, this yellow line here is what has been observed over the time that it's been being monitored in XI. And this gray side here is XI predicting how the machine is going to behave in the future. It's taking the history of the machine and using that data to be able to predict how it will perform. And as you can see, it goes for all services. So here's our CPU, our team in, and a bunch of different data points. Now this is actually only page one of three, so we can add in a bunch more of the graphs here to be able to see. Here's our memory usage, free memory. Again, this is a pretty empty machine, so a lot of this stuff is going to be pretty straightforward. Now another feature I want to cover in Enterprise Features is this audit log. Pretty straightforward here. This tool stores all the logs that happen on the XI machine. So we have our system information here. Uh, we also have security information here. So this is where I logged on to the machine earlier this morning. And at the top, you have the ability to add in some extra filtering if you're looking for any specific type of log. So if we're looking for something with the core config manager, we can add that in. And here, a couple modifications were made. So this top log right here is where we actually started monitoring Nagios.com. The next thing that we're going to look at is creating a dashboard. On the left-hand navigation panel here, we'll click the Dashboards button. And since we don't have any dashboards currently being used, we will just create a new one. So we will do a new dashboard. We will name it New Dashboard. I'm going to select a Transparent Background. You can use this button here to select any color background you may want. Transparent for me, click Submit. And if we go into Manage My Dashboards, right here is the new dashboard. There's nothing on it currently, so let's go ahead and throw some dashlets in there. Within this submenu here, we will select Available Dashlets, and we're going to go ahead and throw in a couple of them. So let's throw in the BB map. We'll leave the title as BB map, and we will make sure that we put it on our new dashboard, dashboard here. So click Add. Let's also throw in latest alerts. Again, same thing. I'll leave the title default. And these titles can be changed to anything that you want them to be. So again, to the new dashboard. That's our latest alerts there. And we have a bunch of different things that we can select from here. We'll also throw in available updates here so that we can make sure that we're keeping XI up to date. Add it. And finally, we will add in this mind map here. Again, new dashboard, add. So now we can drop down this My Dashboards menu right here and click our new dashboard. And this is the one that we created earlier. Now when you're adding in dashlets, they all kind of just cluster right into one area. But you have the ability to freely move them to wherever you want them to be. And you can use this little pin button here so that it permanently stays here and it cannot be moved and it can't even be resized in this state. So we'll pin our available updates there. Our status grid will go here. We'll expand it just a little bit like so. Latest alerts can sit right below our available updates. And again, this can be customized to your liking. I'm just kind of moving dashboards wherever I want. I'm going to move the status grid over here. This is the uh, mind map, and here is the BB map here, and I'm going to extend this off to the right, like so. Again, completely customizable. You can manage this however you want. Um, there's a bunch more dashlets here that are available. Feel free to add in, play around with them, however you want. A um, lot of good stuff in here for high visibility monitoring. And that wraps up today's video, folks. I hope you all are excited for this new user interface just as much as we are. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any more questions, please visit support.nagios.com for additional documentation. Also, be sure to stop by our YouTube channel for more amazing content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.